wonderful, fantastic, lurid, macabre. These are the stories of my life. Unlikely though they might seem, it must be understood that each has its roots in absolute truth. Some of these tales may amaze you, some may shock you, some might even horrify you. But whatever the case might be, each is guaranteed to entertain. So sit down to a handsome repast and remember to proceed with caution. Hello, and welcome to yet another Snack and a Story with yours truly. By popular demand, I am bringing this series back after much moratorium. I am resurrecting it as I happen to have at my disposal new topics for stories and also new items to consume in front of you all as I relay these stories to you. So, one of my new snacks today uh, for this series, I'm going to kick it off, this new recording, which has taken place on a Sunday, the 11th of April of 2021. Don't know when you're going to see this, but anyhow. First new snack here is a personal favorite of mine, some Haribo Gold Bears, the sour variety. I'd already opened this because uh, I wanted some, but I've never eaten these on uh, a snack in a store before, to my knowledge. So I figure that may as well be a treat for you all. And I suppose all that there's left to do is for me to uh, dig into this and uh, begin with the story. So sit back, perhaps maybe get yourself a snack, maybe pause the video and get yourself, I don't know, a sandwich or a cup of tea or perhaps maybe even uh, some Welsh rabbit or something of that variety. And... Enjoy the story, whilst I enjoy these uh, these little little bears. There, you can kind of see. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. This thing has difficulty focusing, but you can maybe see there. So do that and enjoy. Show, show that off for uh, product placement. So the events of this story had all transpired a number of years ago. I'm not quite sure how long ago this was. It must have been when I was around 13, or maybe even 12. I was over at my grandmother's house. And we were doing some grocery shopping and such and all that. And after we had left uh, and had walked out, we had run into this rather, let's say, equivocal looking character of... Uh, perhaps nefarious in intentions and such. Uh, let us just say he did not necessarily look like anyone you'd like to run into. Uh, I wouldn't... Well, no, I wouldn't say that. He was, I suppose, an average young person and such, but seemed to be rather shady, swarthy, and uh, just a little untrustworthy looking. If only just a little bit. Thank you. 
And so this man accosts us, and apparently he happens to be selling some music CDs that he himself has made. I am not one to typically buy anything from outside of the grocers, uh, mainly because you finished buying what you needed to get. Why must you get something else? Uh, I don't really do anything for charity. Um, that's usually outside of there. Any, not, nothing for the tro troops. I, I just want to get home and such and continue on with my reading and, uh, and all that and perhaps consume the mass quantities, uh, to quote that film, The Coneheads, uh, that I've already bought there without having to consume anything else that uh, I was uh, that was heaped upon me inadvertently, and now I am just really just obligated to consume it, whether it's food or media or otherwise. It's just not for me. Oh, this here, this is my... This is a neat little thing here. This is my smart watch. This is a new little gadget I've got. Don't know if you can read that well. If it'll focus, but... The time currently is 6.04, and I've got one, no, 817 steps. So I wasn't particularly active today, <laughs> mainly because I was reading quite a bit. Oh my word, I look very thin in <laughs> this angle. I, I really do. Goodness. I've lost about 30 pounds. Of course say that while eating these but uh, I lost about 30 pounds and I just I, I'm just feeling wonderful and such but I am going to walk early tomorrow or not tomorrow I'm gonna walk shortly after this in about an hour and I'll get my my step count up but this was originally on here for sleep patterns and such but we stopped checking that but anyhow I'm not one to typically patronize any improvised salesman outside of uh, sh uh, shopping malls or, con or grocery stores or anything of that sort. But this particular man was rather importunate in his plea that we buy some of his music. Evidently, he had said that the music, and he was a young, he was a young guy. He was no more than, I don't know, 20, in his, in his early to mid-20s. So my age, basically. But he was very importunate in his wanting to buy our music, or our wanting to buy his music. And apparently, he says that his daughter who was 11 years old, was a, a prodigy, a child prodigy, and was particularly uh, adept in the field of Christian music. And all Christian music is very is not very good at all. It's actually, uh, if anything, anti-Christian. Most of it. It's just a whole bunch of dross. A lot of it. It's more the devil's music than anything Christian, remotely Christian. So I don't know. That kind of, I suppose, at the time intrigued me. I said, "Oh, he's eleven years old." 
you know, and, and sings and such, or does whatever, is very skilled and adept in, in, in the musical field. And I said, oh, that might be interesting. Maybe. But I was still kind of uh, hesitant. And grandmother was hesitant as well. But this man kept kept imploring that we buy this CD off of him. There was a stack of CDs. Uh, there was one stack... Uh, with, I guess, I don't know, a little girl on the case of it. I suppose that was his daughter. And there was another stack with himself and some other jamok on there. Don't know what that was about, but I presume the stack with the, with the uh, uh, little girl's face on there was of his daughter and her music. So, this guy won't leave us alone. And so, we, I just decided to cave in and just said, uh, what the heck? It's a, we probably won't see this fellow again. It'll get him off of, our, off of our cases. It will have him out of our lives. And who knows? It might actually be something good. So I paid him, I think, one dollar. Not one dollar. I don't remember how much I paid him for one of these CDs. But I paid him. However much. And he proceeds to take a, 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 a CD from off of this, no, this stack with himself and the Jamoke. There's, I suppose, is his friend on there. And I say, huh, that doesn't look like a 12-year-old girl. But whatever the case, it might, maybe it's just a false cover and it just says, I don't know, whatever. And so we'd buy it, I guess. And, you know, he thanks us for our patronage and such and all that, and we, we move on. We didn't listen to the CD. Well, of course, we couldn't listen to the CD uh, before we bought the thing. But he, uh, you know, and obviously he says, you know, it's my, she, it's my daughter. She makes real good Christian music and such and all that. You're going to love it. And so we drive back to grandmother's house and then we decide to listen to the cd to say oh what's going on with this this might be this might at least be average who knows we'll see how it is even though to be honest with you i'm not sure really about it because the cover looks a little dubious but who knows it might still be uh, something of note We'll see. should be noted that uh, I've forgotten how tough these things were and I believe I might have loosened one of my teeth in the <laughs> in the mastication of these things uh, I'm just a little bit concerned no I haven't okay thank 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 goodness but anyhow we put on the CD and we expect to hear you know like this little girl singing and such, maybe some piano and all that, maybe some acoustic guitar singing about, I don't know, uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus and such and all that. We were expecting to hear something like that. 
what we actually hear is something of an utterly heterogeneous character. Heterogeneous, heterogeneous, uh, however you say it. You bloody rap music. The most abysmal rap music ever. It, it, it was so bad. It just awful. It was just overbearing, uh, as profane as profanity could be, and just utterly inept. I'm not a fan of rap or hip hop. I know that it was begotten of funk, and I know it's very important in musical history. I do like a few, few, like a, a very few. Uh, rap songs, you know, mostly by Tupac and uh, maybe Outkast and obviously the Sugar Hill Gang, but nothing else, and maybe a few from the, the Cube himself, but nothing real, nothing else really I find to be really all that spectacular. This especially so. And it was just awful. <laughs> it was just so, pardon me, pardon me, jeez. I've been very burpy these past few days. I have no idea why. But whatever. And so we take out the CD when we get home. We put it back in the case. Evidently, I'm... It, he, he had... <laughs> he had sold us the wrong CD. It was like his own rap music. And it was, as I said, it was... Rubbish. And... <laughs> And my grandmother thought it was rubbish, and I thought it was rubbish, and such. It was a waste of, I think, a dollar, or three dollars. I don't remember how much it was. It was cheap, but this guy wouldn't leave us alone. And what we did, basically, is we just tossed it to the side and never referred to the thing. I think that thing is lost now. That's just a waste of money. It really is. And... If this guy actually did have some music by his daughter, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm almost positive that the sole purpose of himself being stationed out there was to perhaps sell off his own self-produced amateur music to unsuspecting folks like myself and my grandmother, and try and make a quick buck, uh, the way that most of these confidence men usually do. It should be noted that this particular fellow had green eyes and the name of the CD was, like, or the group was Green Eyed Boys or something of that sort. And it was just awful dross and Grandmother and I never referred to the thing again. And from that day forward we decided we are never going to buy anything from any peddlers who happen to be outside of grocery stores or any place just 
trying to force upon people their lackluster content and such because it's probably not of very much quality and just like with me you'll probably get the wrong thing who's if he had a daughter who did do christian music it might have at least been good but he probably didn't as i said he's just a confidence man that's one of those people you need to look out for in this life because there's some people who who want to swindle you and just want to pocket your money. And that's really all they want. For the love of money is the root of all evil. First Timothy 6.10 Evidently, I don't remember this particular location, but we've never seen... I or my grandmother has never encountered that man ever again. So either he rocketed up to stardom, or he came crashing down into obscurity. I hope it was for the latter. Just because he happened to be so felonious with us, and just ripped us off. And that's just a warning on how careful you need to be, because... Just look at, this is an old video, but just look at Ahab and his, uh, I put the thing over there, but then I grabbed it again, I don't know what's wrong with me, but just look at Ahab and his uh, travails in trying to acquire the Xena, the Warrior Princess DVDs, and with them being covered all with the gums. It, it's awful, it really is. They, these people... They con you. And they get away with it. And it's just... It's awful. You just need to be careful out there. And watch yourself. And just... Be careful what you buy. Um, you'll be better off. If you don't... Uh, pay attention to any of these... Uh, peddlers outside of big department stores and shops and all that that's going to be it for this snack and story i hope you've all enjoyed well let me know also if you like this new background of these shelves here i just thought it'd be pretty interesting to to, to see the shelves and have you give you something to look at other than this body uh, you know, I just, I just figured, you know, it might be interesting. But I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you here on the next video. Tune in next Friday to see yet another Snack in a Story, in which I regale you with another tortuous tale of my experience. And while doing so, I myself will be engaged in mastication. So hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Cheers.